We have come now to the last part of the unit. I have been through the defining concept of consumer safety and uh, and and, uh, the, the, and this advertising. I've told you what is advertising. I've told you what we mean. We meant by consuming. We've seen the different. Uh, forms of advertisement and said that it can be positive or negative and most of things of the language grammar. Now today we are going to see the last part which is writing. Now remember if you remember the uh, in unit 2 in ethics in business we have written a uh, uh, argumentative essay uh, paragraph. Now today I'm going to show you another form, another way to write another form of paragraph, which is the expository paragraph. So today we'll see how we write an expository paragraph. So what is it and how we write it. Now, the topic of today is food safety is a major concern, a major problem, a major worry today to all consumers and to all the people in the world. Now, what are the major causes and effects and effects of modern practices on our health. What we mean by this is we are going to are asked to give the causes and the effect, the consequences of the modern practices. It means the modern practices, for example, today, if you remember, we said we have got the food we are eating is not coming from the land, but it's going through factories and coming to our home in a form of conventional food. So, first let's really understand what is meant by this topic. Now, food safety, this is the most important part of the topic. It's food safety. It means to what extent can the food be safe, good? Remember safety in our topic. To what extent this food you are consuming this fruit, vegetable, uh, jam, butter, everything that's coming from the shops to our homes is good for our consumption. Now, food is a major what? Concern. Now, a concern is a, co is a worry, problem, that is caused to what? To all the consumers. Now, today, when we are buying something, we have in mind a worry. This worry is, this product I have bought from the market, either it's a food or uh, something, is it safe to me as a consumer, to my family, to my children, to the whole family? Does it cause a problem? So this is the, ask, the, the questions we are asking. And so what are the major what causes and effects of modern practices. Now, what do we mean by modern? Something now. Modern, it means the industry of today. The modern farming. The modern practices of the production of food. And production of uh, brands and products that we are consuming every day. So what are these goes on what? On our health. Our health is coming to the word consumer. So, we have got really important words, food safety, concern, consumers, causes, effects, and health. All these are the key words to our paragraph. Now, having understood the real uh, meaning of what we are asked to do, now let's take a draft now, a piece of paper, and write what can be put down as ideas in this paragraph? So remember that in a paragraph there must be an introduction, a development, and finally a conclusion. So we must have three parts in our paragraph. And it's also really something good to write a title to our paragraph. So we are following steps in our paragraph and telling the others who are correcting our paper that we know what is a paragraph. So, this paragraph now, when you read the topic, you make an idea about what, is, what you are asked to write. Now, here we have got the idea that they are asking us the causes and effects. Now, I've told you previously that 
When you are speaking about the cause and effect of something, you are making an expository essay. Now, let's go to the expository paragraph. What is it? Uh, an expository paragraph is something that, when we present a fact, what is this fact? For example, do they hear? This fact is food safety. For example, here we speak about the fact of presenting the food safety. A fact, for example, corruption. A fact, embezzlement. A fact, for example, uh, fraud and cheating. This is a fact. Now, when we present the fact as in the introduction, in the development we divide now into two directions. First, we speak about the causes of this fact. For example, what are the causes and origins of problems that concern the food safety, for example, in our topic? And what are the consequences of these on the consuming and on the health of people? So we're talking about the causes and the effect. The causes and also the effects of this fact. And finally, on the conclusion, we are giving either a solution or an advice or recommendation. Or we can make it as open. It means we don't say anything. We just speak about the fact, we give causes and consequences and true stuff. Or we can express a wish. I wish, I hope, uh, it's high time and you express a wish at the end of the verse. So this is the form we follow when we write an expository paragraph. So in our paragraph today, we take a raw paper and we are going to start thinking. Now, fruit that is coming home today. First, let's introduce the facts and say what is food safety. What do we mean by food safety? Or let's introduce the fact in our society and saying that this food safety today is a real problem to everybody. This is the first thing we start with, in one or two lines, introducing the topic. Now, the second now in the development, we're going to now to ask a question. What are the causes and effects of this problem on our health? And, let's start by the causes, for example. Now, when we see the causes of today, we speak about um, modern practices, we speak about factories, we speak about modern farming, in a farm. So, for example, in the modern, in the modern uh, practices, we have both, for example, in the food. In the factory, they use additives to the food, an additive. And they put colors in the food, for example, you find uh, many colors for the food. So these additives and these colors are not something natural. So they are added to your food, so it's called an additive. And, for example, in farming, they are using fertilizers. A fertilizer is product, chemical product, used with the product, with the vegetables or with the fruits to get a better product. And so, some of the problem comes from the additives and the colors, and another cause comes from the fertilizers and from the chemicals added in farming. So we've taken, we've taken an example from the industry, an example from farming, because our food either comes from the land till home, which is called natural food, or from the factory to our home, which is called conventional food. And now, what consequences? Now, when we are putting, adding additives to the food. So, automatically we are changing the structure of the food and we are causing a problem to the safety of people, to their health. Now, one of the consequences is the intoxications. Sometimes when you, when you consume a food, especially conventional food or a natural food coming from earth, from the land, by using fertilizers or chemicals, you are being suffering from an intoxication or a poisoning. It depends on the chemical used in the food or the additive used to the food or to the color used to the food. Another consequence is the, the, these foods, these problems with foods, for these additives, these uh, fertilizers, these chemicals, are leading to disease. For example, today, cancer is one of the causes, one of the causes of cancer today are coming from the food we are consuming. So, and this is a real problem. Now, not to make it 
two long paragraphs, we have used just two causes and two consequences. And finally, we either try to give a solution or to give an advice or to wish something to happen. So I hope that you have got an idea about how to write an expository paragraph. And in the next session, we're going to write the paragraph and see how we can develop these ideas into the paragraph. Thanks.